Hi, my lovely people. Don't forget that March 22nd, this Friday, we're having our first class. Always keep in mind to invest in yourself and in your success. I will answer all questions. These topics up here will all be covered and then some. So go ahead, hit your girl up so you can start learning how to make this money and do it right. Also, I will be announcing the free seat giveaway tomorrow when we go live. So do not forget, hit me up. Everything you need is in the description box below and we will get this thing started. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. Please don't go out of your way to dislike anybody we talk about in these videos. It is for entertainment and reaction purposes only. It is my opinion and my opinion only. Okay, guys. So first off, I know I was supposed to go live this morning and do call-ins, but I will be to live tomorrow around uh, 10 a.m. I do apologize. I had to go to work, and then I was trying to edit for this class. I've just had a lot going on, but I was going to take the day off until I just happened to glance on the YouTube streets and see Peach do this four minute video about, you know, the goose and the golden egg and how you protect it and this, that, and the third. Well, let me just say, I've heard this term used before. So the term, take proper care of the goose for it lays your golden egg. It is not always talking about things that what Peach were saying, take care of the goose that lays the golden egg means take care of yourself. It's like I said, typically used for generational curses, but a smart person that listens to someone use this term will understand it. I'm sitting here and I'm listening to Peach and how she's taking it. And she says she doesn't believe in generational curses, but everything that she explained, she believes in. First off, she goes to say that, you know, the goose are the people who are living in the projects and getting all the benefits and the food stamps and the tanners because the golden egg is they go work for you. They send their children to prison for you. They um, get all these benefits off the government and the government gets something in return. I don't know where she got all of these thoughts from because I was just like, cuckoo, cuckoo. First off, let me just say this. She says that she was on food stamps and everything else is no longer on any of them. I personally do not believe that. That's number one. Number two, something that helped you and your children sustain, right? You wouldn't have had um, any of these things that you had or the opportunities that you have if you didn't start where you started from. And that was the food stamp, the housing, the WIC, and all of this other stuff. And then you still get on here and use WIC and food stamps, but you say you borrowed them from this person, that person, and everybody else. But I'll tell you what, I don't believe it. Also, she goes on to say, well, you know, it's just like my... Um, aunt's not married, my cousin's not married, her daughter's not married, um, they're taking in and doing things with the wrong guys and yada yada. Girl, it's a generational curse. That's what you just explained. Even though you don't want to believe in it, you're living it. Let me just say this and break it down like, you know, I typically do. Her mother is always in the casino. Therefore, Peach has a habit. Also, when you have the habit of gambling, you picked a man who also loves to gamble. So that is also a generational curse. Not only, okay, did you get on here and you try to down your family for the things that they say that, you know, was done to you, but then you're in turn doing the same things to your children. You're holding them back. You're not giving them proper education, proper tools to live with. You're keeping them in a child state of mind, things of that nature. Once again, generational curse. Also, you are on food stamps, housing, this, that. You say that your sister is on there. You say that your brother has been on there and lost it. Once again, generational curse, something that's passed on. You said that your grandmother was on housing. Once again, generational curse. Also, you got on here trying to say, oh, and everyone in my family, they don't want to get married and they picked the wrong man. Well, honey, it just so happens that you got married, but you got married to a man that was no good. So what makes you any different than these women that you claim can't get a good man? You married a man that's not a good man. You married a man that was doing all kinds of things to you, whether it was cheating, whether it was DV, whether it was treating you bad, whether it was not being there for birth, whether it was not paying attention to his children, whatever the case may be. Everything that you said that your mother chose and your father is what you created for your home and your environment. We are sitting here looking at your family tree and they all have the same things in common. So that means it's a generational curse. If you don't want to use the word curse, then use it as, hey, it's a generational downfall, right? And that's what happens. You have to break it. You have to work to get out of it. You have to make yourself stand out. I don't care uh, 
who likes their parents or who don't like their parents, at the end of the day, when you're raised by somebody, you're going to take on their traits. That's why it tells you to protect the golden egg. My thing is, well, Peach, why is it always got to do with poverty? Why does it always have to do with the poor? Why does it always have to do with housing projects? It's like you're obsessed with this stuff. No one's going to be obsessed with someone who's living in the projects or living, you know, poor or is poverty. I'm sure not going to be obsessed with it because I choose to not live like that. So if you the big bank, big baller that you are, and you are always talking about and showing us these projects, why don't you go in and donate some money? Huh? Why don't you invest into another golden egg? Why don't you give away free classes? Why don't you give away free bundles? Why when you see people, like you said, out in the public struggling, asking for cash, can't afford food for their children, or whatever the case may be, why don't you lay into the community and give some money or give some donation away? Because you're selfish. And once again, it's a generational curse. Y'all, when I tell y'all this is a, you know, a lot to talk about and we'll talk about it in our live tomorrow, but I wanted to touch on the topic of just how crazy she sounds. And people are down in the comments saying, oh my God, people uh, just don't get the message because you're so blunt. Girl, you're speaking the truth. Girl, you're speaking real, but you ain't speaking about the title of the video or the meaning of what they're saying. The goose that lays the golden aid is who you're supposed to protect. Well, ain't you the one that provide and pay every bill in your house and take care of your children and do everything else while your husband sits there? So wouldn't that make you the golden egg, huh? And wouldn't you be the goose that's laying the egg since you are the female? Girl, see, sometimes you got to take a minute and think about what you're saying. But honey, I just want to check in and let y'all know I'm watching. I'll see y'all in the comments.